guys welcome back so good morning if you're watching this in the morning if it's afternoon or evening whenever it is welcome I am going to just sit down and relax and chill and put on some makeup today I'm thinking of starting a new series called coffee and color with KK okay because your girl has got her morning cup of joe I got my coffee y'all cuz I need to wake up but yeah I'm just chilling sitting here at my station about to put on some makeup and I wanted to play with these new NYX palettes they came out with some really pretty colorful eyeshadow palettes the off tropic palettes and one is super duper colorful which this one is the Asta La Vista palette so this one is very very colorful as you can see it's kind of like a beautiful tropical rainbow type palette and then this one here is shifting sand so this one is a little bit more of kind of like the orangey purpley not as bright it's still colorful but not as bright as the Asta La Vista palette so I actually want to play with both of these together I'm not sure exactly what I want to do today of course it's going to be colorful just in case you're new to my channel I like color <laughs> so anyway I want to play with these palettes today you guys I don't have a lot of new complexion and face products because Honestly, I really, I've just kind of realized that I don't really need to buy a lot of complexion and face products because with my monthly subscriptions, I get all of the moisturizers, primers, and stuff like that that I need. I really do not need to buy anything like that. So really the only things that I need to buy aside from eyeshadow palettes is like foundation. concealer things like that because having the subscription boxes I get eyebrow products moisturizers primers I even get powders blushes contours bronzers lipsticks the only things that I really don't get is like foundations and setting sprays I even get eyeshadow palettes now that I think about it so anyway I'm like I'm not buying anything the only thing I can't stop buying is eyeshadow palettes because Lord knows I will never stop buying eyeshadow palettes so anyway <laughs> let me stop stalling so I can drink this delicious coffee and start by priming my lids I'm going to use my Mac soft ochre paint pot prime my lids and then we'll move into some eyeshadow Okay, you guys, so I have my eyelids prepped. I love the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I don't know if I'll ever use anything else. I love it. So anyway, okay, so let's move into these palettes and see what we wanna do. I think I wanna use the brighter palette for my crease work and use this palette. Ooh, I've already dug, messed it up. But I want to use this palette for my lid. So, this is a tough one. I don't want to... <laughs> it's funny because I have all this color, but I don't want to be like super duper bright today. So, okay. I'm going to take this shade here. And there's no names. There's just numbers. There's no names. So, I'm going to take this dark purple shade here and start to place that in my crease area. seems very very nicely pigmented I did have to go in and build it up a bit but the color is there it's very pretty I'm looking at both of these palettes trying to figure out what I want to do you guys because the colors are just so gorgeous So now I want to go into this lesser bright palette and I want to take this really pretty orange shade here and I'm going to place that on the inner portion of my crease Okay, 
so I'm really liking that orange. That is really pretty and it's blending nicely into the purple this morning, okay? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I think what I wanna do, I don't wanna get too, too crazy. Well, I kinda do, but kinda not. So I'm gonna go into the bright palette, the bright, bright palette, and I'm going to take this light kind of, what is it, like a salmon shade? really really light peachy shade and I'm going to use that to kind of blend out the upper portion of my lid. That girl goes through Don't want to take it out on you Okay, so it took me a little bit of time to kind of blend those colors together nicely and they're still not exactly how I want them to be, but I do like how they are coming together, the purple and the orange. I'm feeling it, I like it. I'm not going to completely blame the blending on <laughs> the eyeshadow right now because I haven't finished my coffee yet, so could be user error, but it's blending, it's blending nice enough, okay? So I wanna go ahead and throw some shimmers on this lid. Now, I wanna have a nice little contrast. I'm thinking like this green here, cause it's like so, so pretty. And mm. I don't wanna go too crazy. But yeah, I'm thinking of maybe this green and adding a little bit of purple on the outer. So I'm going to go ahead, take this green, spray my brush and just place that on my lid. I'm not gonna do a actual cut crease with concealer. I'm just gonna use the shadow to cut the crease, okay? Okay, so that green is actually pretty pigmented. Not bad at all. It's not extremely bright. As you can see, it's a really pretty green shade, but it's not super duper bright for the lid. So I'm okay with that. Okay, I think right next to that green, I'm going to place some of this dark purple shimmer in the less bright palette. So I'm going to use that right next to that green and then possibly smoke it out with a little bit more of that dark purple. So I'm gonna finish this eye, put some liner on, and then we'll move on to the face. Okay, so I have my eyeliner done. That's as neat as it's gonna get for now. <laughs> That's a little bit crooked, but I ain't tripping. So I'm going to go in with my usual Neutrogena Hydra Boost to go ahead and moisturize my face. Y'all know how I do. I ordered um, another moisturizer from e.l.f. The, uh, which one is it? I don't know, it's one of their new um, creams, oh, the hydration cream, the e.l.f. hydration cream. I ordered that, so that's on its way to me because I really, really like the e.l.f. skincare products. You guys know that, moisturizers and stuff like that. So I decided I wanted to try their new hydration cream and see how that is. I'm pretty sure I'll like it, but um, yeah, I'm waiting for that to get to me. Okay, and for foundation, I'm going to use the Born This Way foundation. I haven't used this in quite a while. I've been going through my foundations because I plan on doing a foundation declutter this year. So I've been just kind of using my different foundations every time I do my face, trying to see if I like it or if I don't like it. And I have kind of like two piles going 
for different foundations. So this one is in the color Spiced Rum and I'm pretty sure I like this foundation. So I'm going to use this today. And I'm gonna use a Sonia Kashuk sponge to apply this foundation. Now you guys, I am really upset about my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation because the little pump, the little hole for the pump, it gets clogged up so easily. Every single time I go to use it, it's clogged up. And so as a result, <laughs> you know when a pump has something kind of in the hole or something blocking the hole and you go to pump it or a sprayer and you go to use it and it goes squirting every kind of way because there's something obstructing the hole. Well, that's what happens a lot of times when I go to use my NYX foundation and it's so irritating because I love that foundation and I have ruined, well I can't say ruined because it can come out, but I've gotten foundation all over my shirts, all over my pants, just all over my beauty room, on the rug, the carpet, from that foundation spraying everywhere whenever I try to use the pump. So, has so, anybody else experienced that with the NYX can't stop, won't stop? That stuff just, it can't stop and it won't stop getting on my nerves every time I try to use it. <laughs> so yeah, I really like this Born This Way foundation. I like the consistency, I like the coverage, the shade. I really like the shade more in the summertime than I do like right now, end of winter, early spring, because it is a little bit darker than my chest. Not much, not much at all, but it is a little bit darker than my chest. So you can see that the foundation is a little more cocolicious <laughs> than the rest of my body, but I do like it. So I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Concealer and I use the color C13 and just add some of this to brighten and conceal. I went through a phase of not really wanting to use concealer <laughs> for some reason. I just was like, eh, foundation and powder, that's good enough. I don't wanna conceal. Um, and I still kinda feel that way to be honest with you. Sometimes I just don't want to be super bright in certain areas of my face. And if the foundation covers my impurity, or <laughs> impurities, <laughs> covers my imperfections, then I feel like I don't need concealer. So I still kind of feel that way sometime, but today we're gonna go ahead and brighten and conceal for this look, okay? Does anybody else find it harder to kind of work on one side of their face than the other side of their face. Cause for me, the left side of my face, I'm assuming it's because I'm right-handed, is always more difficult for me to just work on. No matter what I'm doing, it's more difficult <laughs> for me to get it right. But I don't know. You guys know I love the Revolution Concealer. I don't know why, I know some people I think a lot of people like it. I, th I do, I think a lot of people like it. I hear some people that don't really care for it. You know, everyone has their favorites, but I really like the Revolution Concealer. I like the consistency, I like the coverage. The color that I use, C13, I really like how it just looks on my skin tone with the foundation shades that I use, so. It works nicely for me, I think. If you guys hear my dogs barking in the background, please just ignore it. It's actually my girl. She barks at everything, okay? There's a train going by and she's barking at the train. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, just my apologies. You know how when you're doing your makeup, I think for most women, non-YouTubers, you know, when you find that combination of foundation and concealer that really works nicely for you, you just stick to it. Cause you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? You just stick to whatever you know 
whatever works good for you. But because I am a YouTuber, I use a lot of different makeup. So I'm constantly trying things, constantly testing things. And so oftentimes I will forget how much I really like something or how much I don't like something. So just seeing how this concealer is playing with this foundation, I really like it. I like how the two are kind of meshing together. So I'm feeling it. Now another thing that I have been kind of trying to ease up on a little bit is the powder. So um, <laughs> I'm going to use my J-Cat Banana Powder just under my eyes, right under my eyes and just lightly, lightly dust the rest of my face with some of this e.l.f. Is this, get my glasses. I, it's so tiny I still can't even <laughs> read the back of it, but I really like this e.l.f. powder. I don't know what color it is or if it's a setting powder or a finishing powder, I don't know. But I love this e.l.f. powder. So I'm just gonna set under my eyes and then I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this on the rest of my face. I just find that I really don't like the way my face looks when I use tons of powder on it because my skin is extremely textured so it just, I don't know, it seems like it really accentuates the texture all over my face when I use a lot of powder. Okay, so just enough of that powder as you can see to just kind of bring my face back to its natural tone. Okay you guys, so now I really wanna try this Cover Effects palette that I got from BoxyCharm. Now, I was blessed enough to find somebody to switch palettes with me, because as you guys know, if you watched my video, I got the light palette, <laughs> which I can't do anything with a light palette, so she swapped with me i gave her my light palette and she sent me a dark palette so this is what the dark palette looks like and i'm so so excited to play around with it i am going to go in with a little bit of this contour pow this contour powder down here and see how this works on my face okay <laughs> Yeah, I can see that it's actually working very nicely. I don't like like a super duper harsh contour. I just like to be able to see that shadow a little bit. So what I will end up doing is blending my blush in with my contour. So we just gonna use just a slight amount. I'm just barely tapping in to get that shadow going. Ooh, <laughs> yes, I can see that. Okay, chill out Camille, chill out. That's the only thing with contour, especially ones that you're not familiar with. Sometimes they could sneak up on you. You'd be like, ooh, somebody sock me? <laughs> Did somebody sock me? Okay, so yeah, I could definitely see it and I definitely like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, so there's also a blush in this palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that blush today as well. Okay, so it's a nice blush. I think it goes very nicely with this eye color. And it blends very nice with the contour shade as well. So, very pretty. Okay, and also in this palette, there are three highlighter type shades. So, I think I'm gonna go in with this dark one, of course. I don't see anything. Okay, it's starting to show up, but it's very, very faint. I'm having to like build it up. Very, very faint. So yeah, I can definitely see it now, but it's definitely buildable. You definitely have to kind of build it up, at least for me. <laughs> I couldn't see it at first and then it was like pow, so. Okay, so now I'm just going to highlight right there on the bridge of my nose like I always do. The tip of my nose just a little bit and sometimes I like to highlight my, what is this called? Is that the widow's peak? 
Or is that for the hair? Is this the Cupid's bow? It's the Cupid's bow. I think the wi Widow's Peak is for the hair. Just to give this eye look a little bit of pizzazz. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that highlighter. It's very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up these eyes, you guys. What is next? I think I'm just gonna go back into the Super Bright palette. I'm going to use this dark purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> I'm gonna use this dark purple and then I'm gonna go back into the other palette and smoke out that purple with some of that orange. Okay, so now I think I wanna add a bright pop of color in my inner corner before I do my mascara. And in this palette here, the less brighter palette, which I keep saying less brighter or more brighter, this one is the Shifting Sand. I want to use this bright orange shimmer shade right here and pop that in my inner corner. I really like that. I like how that just kind of brightened up that inner corner and added to this tropical vibe. So yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, mascara. I'm going to bust out my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I haven't used this in quite a while. When I first got it in my, I think it was BoxyCharm, I was like madly in love with it. And then, you know, I got sick of it. So I'm gonna use it again today. Baby, won't you just stay Ooh, for a little while? Oh, oh, for a little while. Oh. Okay, superhero mascara is doing its thing today. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay, lips, you guys. I'm thinking I wanna combine two colors together since I have this orange and purple going on on my eyes and no, one of the colors is not green. <laughs> I'm gonna use two of my Milani lipsticks and this is just some of their regular cream lipsticks. I'm going to use this beautiful violet shade and this gorgeous orange shade and see what I can come up with, okay? I like that little combination. It's kind of different, a little cute, matches my eyes. I like it. <laughs> I don't know, y'all might think it's a little bit too much, but I like it. It's matching my eyes, so I'm, I'm here for it. Okay, you guys, so this is it for this first episode of Coffee and Color with KK. <laughs> my version of uh, Chit Chat Get Ready With Me. Um, I like how this look turned out. I only tried, I think, about the three new products today, the two eyeshadow palettes from NYX. Both of these off-tropic palettes, I really like. I think they're nicely pigmented. They blend it well together. I think that the colors go really nicely together. It does make me feel a bit tropical. My shirt doesn't really match anymore, but I like these palettes. I think they're really nice. I picked them up on sale from Ulta, like, a while back when they were like $14.99 or something like that. Now they might be about 20 bucks each. I don't know if I would say they're worth $20 to be honest with you with all the colorful palettes that are out nowadays for a lot cheaper or that you can get more shades in. So 20 bucks each might be a little steep, but if you can catch them on sale, I definitely think they're worth it. I like them a lot. Very nice. And this cover effects palette that I finally got <laughs> swapped out so I can get the right one. I like it. I like, you know, how it contoured and, and bronzed up my look. And the highlight is pretty nice too. I like that highlight. It's kind of popping all over the place, but very, very nice. So 
with just a few new items that I tried today in this little get ready with me. I like them. So that's it for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit like. If you're not already subscribed and you've been enjoying my content and you just keep coming back and coming back, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, girl. You know we can chill together, okay? <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you on my next video. Toodles!